Hi everyone, I'm going to do another book review. So um, it is going to be on The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I know it's a children's book, but I started reading this when I was like in sixth grade around that time of my life. And uh, I never finished it, so I was at a thrift store and then I saw this big old book for $2. There's a little tag still on there. So I was like, I might as well finish it. So I did. And um, I have to keep in mind that this is a children's book when I'm judging it, so I can't be like too harsh or, you know, too skeptical. I don't know. Anyways, this is. Oh crap, I forgot to do about the author. Anyways, C.S. Lewis, he was a friend of Tolkien, and that's great. I love Tolkien. And, um, um, let's see what this is. He was born in 1898. Dang. And, um, Lewis's fascination with fairy tales, myths, and ancient legends, coupled with inspiration drawn from his childhood, led him to write The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And from there, six more books were created. And uh, the last book of the series, which is The Last Battle, um, it, won it was awarded the Carnegie Medal, one of the highest marks of excellence in children's literature. And that's for that. And um, let's see. What I liked is it was like a great little adventure book. It was just so cute, and it was just... I don't know. It was just like the perfect like children's adventure book. Um, it did make me feel kind of like a child again. Like, I don't know. It made me remember like how I acted when I was a child, and I don't know. I just kind of brought me back. And um, there was a lot of like little lessons and morals and stuff that I got from this book, and that I think would be great for like when a children like a child is reading this. And what I didn't like it was, was like, it was really predictable, but then I have to keep in mind that it is a children's book, so I guess I'm a lot more advanced. I don't know. So, um, what else did Naya like about this? Oh yeah, I kind of had, like, to force myself to see, like, the picture. I mean, I got the story, but, like, I didn't really see the land in my head. It, I don't know. Or the characters. I had to kind of, like, just make it up myself. Um, I was unsure if this was a good thing or a bad thing for me, but like the last book was like really brutal and like hope after hope was crushed. It wasn't like the other books where everything turns out fine and like everything did get resolved at the end, but like for like ha like the entire last book there, I was like, this is sad. And I usually like sad things and sad endings, but I don't know if a child would get why this book was being so sad. So yeah, that was weird. Um, I guess like this is a book for like people who are like, you know, around that age, like 13, give or take a few years. It depends like on the reading level and comprehension level. But I got something out of it. I liked it a lot. Um, this book, I would definitely rate it like a 10 out of 10 for children. I think every child should like read this or even if you're not a child, just give it a try. It's one of those books that you should say like, oh yeah, I've read that book, even though it was like many years ago. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10. So, um, the movies, there are movies, just in case you didn't know, that, um, are from the Chronicles of Narnia and, um. I forgot to show you earlier, but that is not the page with all the books on it. There are, you can't see them like I saw in the other video. Um, the Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. So yes, those are the seven books. Um, so yeah, there are movies, and so far the movie is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and Prince Caspian. Those are the two movies that are out, and, um, out in theaters, I think, right now, is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and I haven't watched that yet, but The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was a really good movie. It followed the book, so did Prince Caspian. I need to check out The Voyage of the Dawn Treader to see if it follows up like the other ones. So yeah, if you haven't read these books, you might as well read them just to say you did, and 
because the movies are out, you might as well just read them too, so read the book and just like make the connections between the book and the movie. I think that's fun to do. I don't know if you think that's fun to do, but I do. So that was my quick book review. I wish it was longer, but I don't really have much time. So 10 out of 10 for children. I don't know what I would rate it for myself. Um, I don't know, for myself reading it, it would probably be like an 8 or something, um, which is still good, but um, because I'm older, I didn't get the same connection that a child might get, I guess. So enjoy, I hope you read it, or if you haven't, that you do, or you let your children read it. Okay, bye!